I am Alice Alberts. I'm a newly professional triathlete turned pro July 2022 um, and in my first full year of racing. During the pandemic, my husband Mike and I started biking together a lot and we just loved it. And he said, you know, I've always wanted to sign up for an Ironman. And I said, <laughs> let's do it. So we signed up for our first Ironman at the end of 2020. Shocked myself, maybe not my husband, by winning the overall age group race there. It was Ironman Coeur d'Alene. Had a blast and was hooked and knew it was something I wanted to keep doing. When I was working my job as a full-time nurse practitioner, training for triathlons was the highlight of every day. It was sort of what I looked forward to and got excited about. You know, the pandemic was really hard for uh, medical workers in general, having to go into the office, which was challenging in many ways, physically and mentally. And I, I really, really looked forward to my training during that time and being able to get outside on weekends and go on long bike rides and go to the pool that was open it was just the highlight of every day. And um, it really helped sort of balance, again, the stress I was feeling from work, sort of like how I got into running. And it was just a blast and continues to be a blast. I, I truly love training. And I've thought about how maybe I wish I'd gotten into the sport earlier, but to be able to value and look forward and really enjoy my job now, I, I don't think I would take that away. I don't have burnout. I look forward to it. Obviously there's sessions that are hard, but it still continues to this day, even though it has become my full-time job to be sort of the highlight of every day. So I'm, I feel fortunate for that. When I first started with triathlon, my main training partner was my husband. We always laughed our quality time was like during our bike rides and going to the pool. That's changed a tiny bit since I've turned pro, but he still does swim with me in the mornings. I'm part of a master's swim team here in Boston every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning, which I just adore. It's been huge for me swimming with those that are better than me. I swim with a lot of like ex-college swimmers. It was definitely intimidating to start, but gosh, they've really pushed me and um, made me work harder in the pool than I ever would by myself. I would say the majority of my other training is actually really alone. I have always seen endurance sports as sort of my me time and I kind of get lost in it and I love it. I love being out there for hours by myself and my thoughts. As a pro, I'm able to really decide when I'm going to do each session to best suit my body and what I can get out of it. And I think the biggest, biggest change has been being able to put my full energy and focus into every single session. You know, when I was working full time, it was like, oh gosh, I have to finish this last rep because then I have to shower and get to the bus and thinking about like what time my first patient was and how many patients I had for the day. And I think that now that I have the opportunity to really invest all my energy into training, I don't overlook that. I know that that's a blessing and something that I think has helped me improve a lot early in my pro career. The other just major big thing which is tied to all this is just controlling my stress. As athletes, we sometimes forget how much stress, whether that's life stress, work stress, can change how you're able to perform. So my ability to be able to control the other stresses in my life to really be able to perform during my training has been a major change since going pro. I'm my biggest hype girl. Like I'll be in the middle of a hard session and I'll be like, yes girl, you got this, which is like the dorkiest thing ever, but it helps. I mean, I even do it during races. So just to kind of like pump myself up, I think that if you start doubting yourself, it's all downhill from there. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm still sort of realizing I'm a professional triathlete, if I'm to be honest. I think back to my childhood self who wanted to be a professional ice hockey player and how like totally psyched I would be to learn at 
what, I was 30 when I turned pro that I became a professional triathlete at the age of 30. Um, I, yeah, I got emotional. <laughs>